All right, hello everyone. Here we have, look at all those head tilts. We've been just sitting here quietly and I started talking. <laughs> here we have Hazy and Apollo's Lakeland Terrier puppies. They are six and a half weeks old. Today is August 31st, 2024. They were born July 17th. They're six and a half weeks old. We still have two available, the male with the blue collar right here and the female, the Wheaton colored female. So this little lady here is spoken for us saying, hi, mom and dad. I mean, aren't those seriously, these Lakeland puppies, their faces are the cutest little teddy bear faces, honestly, possibly on the planet. They're just adorable. So stinking cute. They're so cute. You can see their hair is starting to grow out even already, um, the little pink female. She's already got some black tips on the uh, end of her brown hair on her face, uh, a little less on blue, the blue male, but they are doing so, so good. This is a really, really quiet litter. Like for six and a half weeks old, they're a laid back litter. I've been waiting um, to do puppy personalities um, and I've been surprised how long it's taken them. And that's typically like when they take a long time to kind of pop out of their shells, Sometimes that's just developmental delays and not delay as in slow, but just differences. Um, but sometimes, <laughs> look at pink. Sometimes, um, most of the time at this age, it just indicates like a more laid back um, temperament, which I love. Lakeland Terriers are a lot. They're balls of energy. They're balls of hilarious, stubborn energy. I mean, they're awesome, awesome dogs, but they're a lot. So I, we really work hard to breed an even-tempered dog um, that's not gonna have those extreme personalities. So I love to see this. This is like exactly what I am after. This is like the goal litter right here, seriously. I love it. Um, so typically in large litters, I put the puppies in order from most outgoing and energetic to least. Um, and that just helps describe to you who's not meeting them in person, like what they're like, um, the more outgoing and energetic puppies as adults um, usually are a little bit more alpha, um, always a little bit more outgoing and energetic, uh, a little more independent. Um, yeah, just kind of higher energy. Um, and the, the uh, ugh, sorry, least energetic ones, a lot of times are your more laid back, easygoing, a little bit more submissive. Um, so this litter, honestly, like, if I put them in with a whole bunch of other Lakeland puppies, they would all be on the lower end just because they're definitely more laid back. Um, so, and since there's only three, it's kind of hard to make a scale because then it seems like, you know, one seems really extreme and, and three seems really extreme when there's only three puppies. So here, what I'm trying to say is that I am going to rank them, but like, don't feel like number one is going to be this extremely outgoing and energetic just because she's one. It's just because these three are all actually really quiet and laid back. So number one in this litter is the pink female, the black and tan female with the pink collar. Um, she is definitely, <laughs> look at that face. She is definitely um, my most curious. When something new, you know, happens, she's like ready to check it out. Um, she's instigating a lot of play. Um, again, she in another litter would probably still be like a really middle of the road personality. Um, but she definitely, definitely is a little more adventurous as you can see, even now, like she's checking things out. She's kind of pretty confidently like tail up, perched, looking around where like these guys, um, they're still like kind of nervously checking things out. Takes a minute for them to adapt to a new situation. That's kind of typical of puppies at this age. Um, that very quickly goes away. You won't see that part because by eight weeks old, they're all just charge the mountain. Um, but yeah, hopefully that explains. So then, boy, it was hard for me to decide between blue being the second one and the wheat and female because they're both really similar. Um, I'm still kind of debating, honestly. So that should kind of show you that they're both kind of two to threes. Um, I'm going to say that Blue is my number two. Um, he's a little bit more adventurous than the Wheaton female, um, but they kind of go back and forth, so that's a tough one. Um, but these they're very, very easygoing personalities. Um, nothing, like they're not seriously quiet and shy. 
um, but they're just definitely a little bit more um, cautious of new things, which is indicative of being that personality that I've talked about that's a little bit more um, laid back and submissive. Um, so a lot of my buyers, that's a, a lot of times, um, if you have a, like a real alpha dog at home or really little kids, that's the personality a lot of times that you're looking for. So um, really all three of these fall into that category because they're all pretty laid back, but um, especially these two. So hopefully that kind of helps you understand. Um, Size-wise, these guys are very similar. Um, they're very floofy right now with their hair. Um, the pink female is probably the most petitely built if I had to like pick one, but honestly, they're they're all basically the same size at this point. Um, but they are really, really doing well. They're growing fast. They're eating both watered down dog food and hard dog food right now. Mom is done with them. Um, sorry, I just took a sip of my coffee. It was bad timing. I wasn't thinking about it. Um, but they're doing really, really well with that. They're so stinking cute. And by next weekend, they will be bouncing off the walls. So they are ready to go in about two weeks here. Um, they're doing really, really well. I do have a trip at the end of um, September to Asheville, North Carolina. So if you are in North Carolina or happen to be along the route south, um, let me know and we can work out possibly a, a delivery along the way if that all works out for you. I'm just kind of going to let you watch a little bit. <laughs> you can see on pink um, that her hair is getting a little bit lighter at the roots. That's what you're seeing on the camera. It's hard to show that. Um, I know it kind of probably looks like little bald spots, but it's just her hair is a little bit lighter at the roots. And their hair just grows really, really fast at this age. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you guys. Yeah, see how that really startled the Wheaton female and it took her the longest to kind of recover from it. That's the kind of stuff that I'm looking for um, when I'm ranking personalities. Again, these are puppies, so Sometimes I have people that, especially with the quiet puppies, um, especially in a litter where there's some really outgoing ones, you know, these three are all pretty similar, so it doesn't look much different from each other. But in a litter where I have some really outgoing ones, a sound like that, they would have gone and like attacked it. Um, so it's a lot of times I have people that are really nervous about picking a quiet puppy at this stage, but, um, I always tell people, and I, I wish I could stress this enough because I don't feel like people always believe me when I say this, there is no such thing as a timid, quiet, shy little Lakeland Terrier. There's not. Um, that's just, at this age, it's kind of like a little baby. Like, that's just how they present themselves. Um, but they, they are going to be a very energetic, people-oriented, inquisitive, hilarious, outgoing, confident breed. That's who they are as a breed. It's one of the things we love about them. And they're all gonna share those things, but under that umbrella of being a Lakeland Terrier, they all have their own unique personalities. And um, that's what I'm trying to describe. So I, I hope that all makes sense, but they're all doing really, really well.
feel like I'm doing CPR. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so funny. You guys are so funny. You want some snuggles too back there, don't you? <laughs> Say, what, what about me? What about me? You got a little eye booger there. What about me? All right, guys, have a great weekend.